Every single day we're doing what we do, it's, it's challenging. And the variety of what we do is consistent. For every sport event we do, we send along at least two trucks to run the outside broadcast, or OB as we call them. Today we've got 11 trucks on the road. Yeah, today's a huge day for Sky. I mean, we have a handful of days like this each year. It's months of planning. Uh, it's a logistical challenge. We're the first OB on the air with this double header from Pukekohe. It takes us five hours to set up for a set of games like this. It's basically a moving studio and when we come to site, everybody knows their tasks that they need to do to, to, to get it done and we all work as a, as a very effective team to make that happen. Each day is a new job. You know, it may be a very similar workflow but Every sporting venue has its own unique layout, its own challenges, and the way that you have to approach it, it's never the same job. Based in Dunedin, I started doing a couple of OBs and ended up with Sky, and that's been 15 years. It's a big team, so to be part of that is a great job. It's about to pull into your street, Marty. Why does he think it's going to be cold and wet down there? Morning, Martin. Morning, this guy is show on the road. So this is going to be running the whole time. No, we no, stop it. We'll, we'll stop it. We'll stop it. Where do you think I'm working today? Today, International Netball is happening. It's the quad series, so we've got two tests. Today, I'm most looking forward to seeing how the Silver Ferns go, because obviously they've got new captain and new coach. For All The Netball, I'm the producer and the director. So producing, you put the whole production together, you decide what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and when you direct, you're cutting the game. So basically, what you see back at home is what I choose for you to see. Get those shots. <laughs> yeah. Filming sport's fabulous. The camera work almost becomes second nature, but depending on what sport you're doing, your, your whole role changes. During the broadcast, if uh, I'm not running around, if I'm calm and, you know, back here, I'm doing my job right and everything is working, so it's a good thing. Kia ora tato. welcome to Taupo. Um, hashtag love Taupo. Hashtag love Taupo on a lovely day. What I love about being on the road and doing the OBs, it's about the crew. You're dealing with a bunch of people who are articulate and clever and funny, and because most of them are freelancers, if you're a dickhead, you're not gonna last very long. So there tends to be a massive no dickhead policy, which is awesome. I guess it's a new tradition, playing basketball for the game. Um, we started introducing it from the domestic test and getting all the boys involved. Yeah, I can remember watching Goldie play. Um, it's funny playing basketball with him now because you can see him getting frustrated because he's used to operating on a high level and then you've got a bunch of us Muppets running around with him, making him look bad. But uh, I just make sure I'm on his team, because eh, Hoover's on his team only once. We have a lot of sport coming today. We've got five OBs. Outside of those five OBs that we're producing, though, we have international content incoming. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty full on and only getting busier from here on out. 5TD MCR. You all good there, Wayne? Sorry, yeah, your tone sounded slightly distorted there, but I think we're good. That's all right, I can pull it back. That's a little bit hot leaving me too. Sounds great, thanks, bud. Come one, come one, come one. Okay, welcome to Countess Monaco. It's two below the red. Oh, that's good news. When it comes to the women's game, as it's a little bit new, new faces on TV, you do have to do a bit more homework. The good thing about doing this job is you know what it's like watching rugby, you know what you want to see and you know the things that are interesting. OK, everybody. Thank you for coming along today. I appreciate you had a choice of OBs and we're very happy you chose this one. You do have two games. Make sure you have plenty to drink, but remember what you put in has to come out. <laughs> I got more of a laugh the other day. <laughs> 
you're part of an OB crew, it's like a big family. You know, you do whatever you can for your, your teammate. It feels like you are representing out on the field just as much as the teams. Three. Here come Auckland, Two. mate. Four for one. Auckland on their way out. If Auckland bring the historical huge gameplay they can, they should win this, but if County 10 on the flare, bring the heat. You know, so I'm, I'm really stuck to be here. Let's go. Week three of the Fire of Time Academy. Three, Coming three, to you live and exclusive six, on Sky Sports. Two, A beautiful day here in Pukekari, the home of the late, great John Alonu. The big man will be smiling looking down on this game. Women's sport is growing really fast. The more coverage we can get, is much better for all these teams. Still in control of the ball, nice offload. And there's the first try of the game. So this is that flare that counties are renowned for. You think you've made the tackle, the ball's already gone and the next player's got it. She got the meat pie and she got the try. That is exactly the way the home team want to start. Moore's, Moore's to the corner! Oh, are you kidding me? The good first try to the storm. Oh, that was amazing. We're a very small country. I think we punch above our weight in sport. We have four games on the trot today, and the kickoff times are on the script. There are some scripts in the truck if you need them. This is only the fifth year of the Jock Hobbs under 19 tournament. Six players have gone on to wear the All Black jersey, three players have gone on to the New Zealand Sevens. It's the beginning of the pathway to professional football. <laughs> I love the grassroots stuff because you just see these guys in this natural skill base. And I remember a few years ago, Rico Ioani was down here and he was just lightning quick and just amazing to watch. And we know coming out of this tournament that there will be all blacks in the future, we just don't know who. Murray's got a load of pace, too much pace for Southland, first try. What I love about tournaments like the Jock Hobbs, it's kind of small but perfectly formed. It's great to go to the cities, but going to the small towns, you know, they're really happy to have us here covering their stuff, and which is great because we're happy to be here covering it too. I grew up down the road from here, so it's always good to just, you know, see people sitting on the banks. To me, this is where rugby gets its legs and it, it grows up in the big stadiums. Wow, and look at this. Penny, he's got some pace too. Penny, here goes for the break, and Murray, Murray scores the try. Today there's so many outside broadcasts going on, so much live sport going on around the country, and just to be a part of it, yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, beautiful morning for it. A whole lot of crew are coming from one town to another, so we were in Nelson last night, we're here at Invercargill today, and it's been a mission getting here. Tomorrow we go on to another game in, in Christchurch. Any given weekend, there's a combo in town. I think the work that we do here in the regions covering sport for Sky TV is great. With the uh, Māori Teen Cup, we have actually 98 games once you add in all the double headers across two and a half months. All right, hi everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I think we've got two really, really cool games today. First match, Australia Diamonds versus South Africa, and then we've got the Ferns, England Roses. The only other thing, we've got Matt here directing. He's pretty excited about that, especially since it's his birthday. <laughs> I've spent half my life working for Sky, so I must have spent it working, right? <laughs> so, happy birthday, Matt. Um, have a bit of cake before you go in, but then we will rip into rehearsal as soon as we possibly can. Excellent. Thanks, everyone. I'm the set designer for Sky TV, and I've been here for about 23 years. It's always interesting. There's always something new and something challenging. Today we're setting up for the AB's post-match show. Quite a big set. I think I'm all about the shots. I like the shots to be perfect. It'll take me about three hours to install this set, and then the guys will be in a lot later on to light it. When the crowd roar and the play, you know, sweeps down the sideline, you don't realise the pace of the game. It's exciting. Our job is to take the viewer, sit them right here, and give them the most exciting experience we can. It starts as soon as the fixture is announced. That's when we start coming up with a plan and how we're going to um, make today look. You're good for that nipple, Chris? Yeah. There's so many moving parts. You've got to make sure that you um, do take that step back, see the big picture. We are doing development work, bringing through the next generation of young cameramen. But we're also utilising all the experienced camera operators we have. When they come out, okay. that's our position. So okay. by the time we get to a test match like this, it should be a well-oiled machine. 
this is how I learnt the craft, was from guys like him, watching what they do. My first test, August 2000, was just over there on camera six. I can't remember being nervous. It was just a matter of getting on with it, because this is what I wanted to do. If you look at where my camera is, it's like seven metres from the sideline. I've been doing it a long time. It is the best seat in the house. <laughs> Oh, Aldora Itunu says, what's your name? Because I don't care. <laughs> it's just the ability to tell a story and, and enjoy the game. That It's the drama, the emotion, the, the winning and the losing. E every game has something, and that's the beauty of sport. Five minutes to an air. Five minutes to an air. So it's the John Lomu Memorial Trophy we're playing for. Camera five, Graham. Uh, could you please give us a shot of the grandstand for a keyable shot for Terry Here in Pukekohe, Counties Manukau taking on Wellington in the Mitre 10 Cup of 2018. Now the pass, this is a good play from Counties Manukau. Gets it in the corner of Julie Taylor. Live sport, it's the equivalent of, of standing on a cliff edge and you're not sure which way the wind's going to blow. I, I think everyone gets nervous. You have to have a certain amount of, of nerves to get the adrenaline going. South Africa takes the call. I always get nervous before you go in here. I think you get nervous regardless of what it is, but definitely on something big you get heaps of nerves, and it's good because then you're not complacent. Contact. They just menacing, they never give up. Go Wellington! Live TV, it's all about the prep, 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 prep. And once you've prepped, then you just have to let it go. Come on, Rama! If you get it wrong, you don't have time to worry about it. You just have to move on really quickly. You're under pressure the whole time, and I love that. I love being under pressure. It brings up the best in me when I'm working. On the chase, needs a good bounce, catch the try, Jack Hayton. You're all here doing the same job, doing the sport you love, and we're all like-minded. Everyone wants to do a really good job. One cut. Don't go there. And there we go. One cut, no one in front of him. Stand by. Two, two. Two this point time. One of the stroke of the three, first three. half. There's an All Blacks build-up starting at 6.30, so we're going to be rolling our dead roller closer at 18.24 come hell or high water. But we've all done that millions of times, so we'll be fine, won't we? OK, team, have a good one. Hey, MCR from HQ1 Sound in Cable. Yeah, ready when you are. 10, 9, Good night, team. 7, 6, So, a shot, please, just four. Four. Shot three. No, crowding. Three. 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 It is nice and warm in Invercargill. The fans are rolling in for some Saturday afternoon rugby. It's the Battle of the South here today, Otago versus Southland. In these sorts of grassroots games, no one's a favourite. There's a lot of spirit comes into it. This is the 242nd time that these two teams have met. I love being involved in this sort of stuff, you know, getting it out to the world. It's great fun. Oh, I think of beauty. Not Marty, <laughs> the camera shot. Okay, we've got a live cross today from Auckland, and weirdly, it's to my husband in Wellington who's doing the All Blacks games. I can't wait for it, honey, no doubt about it. This is a great, great night, great test match in front of Arsenal. Who's looking after the kids? That's my first question. Yeah, I got that sorted before I left. Nadine uh, took, uh, took charge of that, so that's all under control. You know, it's quite funny that we're in that unique position that we can do that. I'm interested to hear from the girls what they're expecting from the Silver Ferns and the fact whether or not it's an upset maybe tonight they beat England, but are they good enough? Oh, they're absolutely good enough. They're expecting a hum, do you? Three seconds to you for a break, thanks. To the break, Aideen. And Violet. Thank you, Rugby OB. Have a good one tonight. She actually called me Jeffrey, which usually means I'm in trouble. This is our last domestic test of the year, so keen for a big one. Uh, Gab will give us usual motivating speech. <laughs> if the producer is the composer of the opera, the director is the conductor. He brings everything together. I select all the pictures that you see on screen. You all know your job, so just think of the framing. Kickers coming back, faces, possible shots at goal. Think of value added, try and pick up the drama.
I'm pretty excited to be back on the netball. These indoor sports are fun. It's a more controlled environment. Two, two, mate. Here we go, everyone. Have a good game. One. Tap. The players look tight. There are a lot of nerves out there. Oh, lovely rebound. People don't generally know how to talk about audio. You know, I come from a music background. It's like you can't often describe what you love about a song, but you're going to feel it. You can do the same thing with broadcast sound. I'm making the event bigger than what it would actually be if you were attending. We take you inside the huddles. You're running with the umpires. So you're fully involved in on the court action. Here we go! It's yeah. a big shot from Falao. Now this is starting to feel like an England New Zealand test match. It's a sport event, but you're bringing a lot of things together. And when the magic of getting them all at the right level happens. Trademark Landman has said, oh, this game. It's a thing people feel. It's suddenly come alive. It feels good. The story gets told through audio, I believe. Oh, beautifully read. England now with the chance. Yeah, the wheels coming off a little bit here for New Zealand. But this is a very good win for England. Their biggest ever over New Zealand. They take the game 52-39. We are clear. Nice work, everybody. Yeah, it was really disappointing that the Ferns lost because, you know, I had high hopes, but I know that's not the long-term plans. Okay. Hey, thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Good work. Rugby Abbey Sky Prayers, we are exactly two minutes 15 to you. Thank you, Steady Mike. So we are in the build-up for the All Blacks. We joined at half past six. So any event like this, we have a script. We have a script for the build-up, and we have a script for the game. And we have times that we absolutely must hit, so everything is, is time critical. So anyway. If you can fly soon, drone, that'll be good. Working on something like this, you understand that you're broadcasting to the world, and you know that there's a responsibility to make things look really good. I've got a whole crew listening, I've got the world listening in, because they're taking their cues off what I'm doing. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're on. Stand by, let's go, audience. 10 seconds for the All Blacks. On All Blacks, you have uh, a real high calibre of um, crew. Let the All Blacks go, thanks, Hodgie. Yeah, when that red light goes on on All Blacks test, everyone sort of switches on. Stand by Nisbo, you're next. OK, Reese, off you go. It's the All Blacks taking on South Africa, live and exclusive on Sky. Stand by three. Keep going, Reese. carry on, Reese. keep moving. Go, Reese. mix three and keep. When the teams run out, and then you have the national anthems, and then you have the haka, <laughs> Is that little tingle in the spine. Here we go. Bill Roffin close up and seven cup. If you go back to those beautiful moments in our game, uh, the most emotional moments, the common denominator behind grabbing all of those shots is somebody. Hongi, George, you get the Hongi. Who's got the vision and the confidence to get that as the shot that defines the moment. So away we go. I've been working for Sky since 1998 and I've directed and most cup. of the test matches we've done. Wow, two cup, 25 cup. What a pass from Bowden. Marcus, him and Gavin, you know, they're not television directors. We know a little bit about rugby. They know a lot about rugby, the flow of the game, the nuances, you know. Rugby's a second nature thing to everybody who um, directs it. And one cup, and three cup. Smith going mad. I feel happiest when the game goes through and people don't notice it, as it were, because it's been what they've been expecting. They've seen the wide shots when they want it, they've seen the close-ups with the scrums, they've seen the replays. What a start he's had to the game. The big cameras, the slow-mos, we can reach into the game like we've never been able to. Taylor, quick hands, the big Smith again. It is a lottery, because you never know what's coming up next. There's a format. But you never know who they're going to talk about. You never know which direction the game's going. Now a loose pass. Oh! oh. 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 Meanwhile, at 25 cup. And three cup, a shambles. 
Kieran has their role, their different size shots. The Arabi strolling in, the All Blacks finally crack back the fence. You know, when the play breaks down, everyone's hunting for that, that player reaction. You can't reverse it. The script is always different. It's stimulating. Intercept, Kobe. Get it live or go home. Simple as that. When you're working on live TV, sometimes it gets a bit tense. Ioanni! That's like life. But when you're in the moment, it's so fast that you just have to react or, you know, trust your gut instinct. Oh, what a move! Deontay in again! Can we show the coaches, Kim? And that's what I like. It's quite a rush. Too powerful! It's exciting. You never know what's going to happen. It's kept you on the edge of your seat. Hold your breath. Fourteen cut. Wow. Oh, game on. Do not go anywhere. Stay back. Last roll of the dice for the All Blacks. Piranha. Wins away by Barrett. McKenzie. Oh, oh the ball's been knocked down. The Springs are going to survive this. And they have scored a famous victory. And 25 cut. So soaking in the air to the rush. Key to score. Read it and weep. And nine, which nine? Five, four, Khaleesi. Khaleesi, three, okay. two, one. Mix four. Every time we turn up to work, we, we want to do it really well, you know. This is the All Blacks, you know, and, and we work with New Zealand cricket and we work with the Silver Ferns and, and um, you know, these are sporting teams and, and athletes that people idolise. Hopefully every time we come to work, we, we always put our best foot forward so that we can keep doing it. Studio. When you're working on a Saturday night and the All Blacks are playing a game and all the people are at the venue, I've had that realization that you are sharing this moment with, with so many other people across the country. It's kind of crazy. You know, you are bringing that broadcast to the, the, the end user. We're all part of this one moment. Wow, what a test match. That was amazing. Me and the boys were glued to the edge of our seat the whole time. Was a loss, unfortunately, but now the rugby championship will be amazing. Three, two, one, one. And one. Can't forget the beginning. The Avery's came out firing. The Barrett to Barrett touches were sensational. But for me, it was the defense that the box sprung out, and that's what won them that game. It's time for us to go. It's time for us to go. We work with people that love making TV and that love sport and are passionate about it. You have to be a sports fan, and we are all sports fans. We're sports enthusiasts. Yeah. To be in the industry as long as I have, it's, it's a privilege. It's been a great career. It still is. It's like, this is not a real job. <laughs> no, this is, this is fun. I've always felt lucky to do what I do, because heaps of my family from Rotorua have you know, real jobs where they, they're up at um, Sparrows and they get home late. Um, jobs like, you know, in the bush or in the mills. Um, and when you talk to them, it puts everything in perspective and makes you realise how lucky you are.